hey guys welcome to another's crafts on today's video i'm going to make the gift box number two and i already have the first layer of the paper and i trace the size that i want so the size of this box is 16 centimeters by 12 centimeters and it is six centimeters tall and i already have the two pieces of the cardboard paper that i need to glue on the bottom of the box and I, and i'm going to glue three more layers of the cardboard paper on the sides of my box so i have three for this side and three for this side and i have three for this side and three for this side then grab a scissor that you that you're gonna use just to cut papers and then check on the box again and it's all good good to glue I am going to add glue on the bottom of my box the glue that I'm using here is a tech glue so continue press and rub with your fingers until the paper doesn't move anymore so you want to keep it doing this until the glue settle So my is all done so now I'm going to glue the first the second layer of the side of my box which I need to make a line over here because it's a little big In this box you need to cut all the pieces of the paper to fit in the box as you can see this is uh, a, a cereal box that I cut the pieces to just glue in here in the box and make a cute gift box As you can see, I need to cut a little bit over here. It's all done. Now I'm going to add a glue on the paper. Make sure that you have a, a cloth to wipe your fingers because you're going to get your fingers dirty with glue. So you're gonna do the same thing you're gonna hold and press until you feel like the cardboard paper is not moving anymore make a line with the pencil and then you're going to cut and then you come again and check it out if it is all fit in here so just like this and then cut with the scissor
and then check it again. I need to cut a little bit more, so I will done with the glue these three parts, and then I'll be right back. All right, I'm all done with the second layer of the box. I'm going to put the two edges together and close with the masking tape. There you go, and now I'm going to do with all the corner pieces. start gluing the third layer of the box so I gotta check it out if it fits in there I need to cut a little bit okay let's check again I'm going to use a skewer to help me lift it up the paper so I can check if the paper fits all in there. So it fits. So now let's lift this up and add some glue, glue on the bottom of the box. enough glue in the corners and you're gonna do the same thing you're gonna press this down press the needle press hold rub with your fingers Make sure that the glue settles all in there. Okay, now I'm going to edit the sides of the box. So see, that's why you just need to hold and press pretty good so it doesn't unglue. So I'm going to start in the on this side. So when I'm done gluing this side, I'm going to glue on this side and then I will glue this two other sides so it's not fitting there so i need to cut little by little until the paper fits in there almost so i need to cut a little bit more
so as you can see I need to cut a little bit right here and a little bit on the sides oh, a little bit more go now put the box like this add some glue in there I need a small brush Let me blend this a little bit more. All done. Now put it right there. Push it down. Press, hold, and rub with the fingers until the glue is settled. can do with the cloth I'm done now gotta do the other side we want to cut the piece to fit in there you go now check it out make a line here with the pencil and then cut where the is where the pencil mark is same thing push the paper all down all down to touch the bottom of the box and then press press and hold in there Press and rub it with the cloth if you need it. Now I'm going to edit the third layers on the sides over on these sides, and then I'm going to edit the fourth layer on the sides and the fourth layers over here, and then uh, the box will be done. Right, now I'm just gonna edit the last piece of the fourth layer of my box Cut the piece to fit in.
remember to put fresh in while you're doing this. Now we're just gonna let it dry and I'm gonna go do the lid which is the same way as I did the box. Here's the lid, is another piece of the Red Barrel Frozen Pizza box. And the lid is 16.7 um, centimeters by 12.7 centimeters. And it is two centimeters tall. And I have two layers of the cardboard paper to add it in the bottom of the box lid. And the little pieces that go on the side which I'm going to use um, probably two to three layers of pieces of the paper. It just depends. I'm going to work on a box first. When I cover the box with the scrapbook paper, then I can finish the lid. So I'm going to add it for right, for right now only two layers. So I'm going to add this layer over here. So one layer in this side, another layer in here. So, and then when I'm when it's all done, glue those the second layer. I'm gonna edit the third layer in both in all the four sides. Okay. When you're done gluing the second layer of the box lid on all the four sides, you're going to use a masking tape. You're gonna join the corners together and you're gonna have a little piece of the masking tape in here and then you fold it over on this side, okay? So it's gonna be like the box, all right? Okay, so let's get started. So make sure this paper fits in the box lid. I have to cut a little bit on this side. All done. Now I just have to add a glue in here and press this down and make sure that the glues it's settled in so the paper doesn't move anymore so keep just press it in and when you feel like the paper is not moving anymore so you let it go you need to press this very well because we are gluing this the shiny parts all together All right, put it right there. It's a lot of easy when you have the cloth. Your cloth is gonna get all messy because it has the lines of the pencil. Make sure the corners is all glued down too.
make sure that you check You should get a little bee right here. Just a little bee. There you go, let's add in some glue. close with the masking tape get the, the corners all together and fold it the masking tape in you're gonna need another one right here All done now let's do the third layer on the bottom of the box lid and I need to cut this make a line in both sides so I know that I'm cutting straight Right fits right there. Let's see if it fits. Gotta check it out if it fits in this side. There you go, fits in both sides. <laughs>
Remember to take your time while you're doing this because you gotta make sure this it's all glue. You need to add it pressure. Check it out first. It needs to cut to fit. There you go. Now I have to check over here. And I'm gonna do this with all the other three sides. So I'll finish the glue all the third layer and then I'll be right back. Now I just need to cover the box with the scrapbook paper, which I'm going to do this on the next video. That being said, if you like this video, if you like it, share it with your friends. And thank you so much for watching. Bye!